Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about a very powerful, influential Mexican Mafia affiliated member, Jose Fox Landa Rodriguez. Jose is originally from the Mexican state Michoacan, inside the Los Angeles County Jails from 2012 to 2016. Jose Landa Rodriguez had run operations for the Mexican Mafia, primarily at the Men's Central Jail. Jose had ordered killings and violent acts to take place for a kidnapping and a murder to occur. The four-year span of Lando Rodriguez's orders to be obeyed and carried out would prompt just another targeted raid aimed at dismantling the Mexican Mafia and its soldiers and associates. In May 2018, Operation Dirty Thirds had came to the scene. A Pomona-based conspiracy, Operation Dirty Thirds, a reference to attacks the Mexican Mafia levied on inmates not affiliated with gangs who tried to sell narcotics in the jails. Jose Lander Rodriguez had provoked five broad areas of criminal activities that collectively served to enrich members of the enterprise and to maintain control and authority over LACJ, which includes the Men's Central Jail and the Twin Towers Correctional Facility in downtown Los Angeles. The criminal offenses carried out by this enterprise fall generally into five categories. The Mexican Mafia sanctioned smuggling of drugs into LACJ, narcotics that were sold to inmates to generate profits for the enterprise, the taxing of other drugs smuggled into LACJ in which the indictment labels widespread extortion, another LACJ extortion scheme in which all Latino inmates were required to contribute a percentage or commissary spending on food and hygiene items into what generated additional income for the Mexican Mafia. This was about discipline and extortion through assaults and fines of Mexican Mafia associates who ran afoul of the rules imposed by the organization and money laundering of the criminal proceeds from these activities. This three-year investigation focused on players at all levels for their role in the conspiracy, from the shot caller to the secretary to the dealer to the smuggler. The criminal enterprise in LECJ the indictment explained how Lander Rodriguez, who was incarcerated in LACJ at the time, and other leaders of the enterprise exercised power with the help of trusted shot callers, facilitators, and associates. These Mexican Mafia members and associates working together to control criminal activity within LACJ have become their own entity or enterprise and effectively function as an illegal government within LACJ custody facilities. Of all the violent crimes... Lander Rodriguez ordered from he sanctioned murders, a series of assaults, and the kidnapping and planned murder of the relative of a gang member who had defied him. One of the key facilitators for Lander Rodriguez allegedly was an attorney, Gabriel Zendaya Chavez. Zendaya Chavez was accused of conveying messages and orders related to the criminal enterprise. According to the indictment, Zendaya Chavez traveled to state and federal prisons to convey messages to the Mexican Mafia members, including those incarcerated at ADX Florence. They conveyed information, including the names of people potentially cooperating with law enforcement, to members of the LACJ racketeering enterprise and facilitated a plot to extort $100,000 from the Mongols Outlaw Motorcycle Club. 83 gang members and associates were arrested and already in custody in state prison or county jail facilities. 16 suspects were fugitives. As far as Zendaya's charges go, Zendaya's was arrested for reasons stated before, as well as to distribute drugs and facilitate murder and extortion plots. Chavez was a key component of this network of illegal communications. The Mexican Mafia did not want Serrano's cooperating against them and forming on their criminal activities. So, Chavez used his skill set as an attorney to find out who was cooperating to hunt down Serrano's, who the Mexican Mafia thought to be government cooperators. Jose Lander Rodriguez, in some instances, ordered gang members to deliberately get arrested on purpose on low-level charges so they could smuggle drugs into the jail and be released a few days later. Because the Mexican Mafia controlled drug trafficking in the jails, they got the first shot to sell their supply of methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, or marijuana, at least for the Mexican Mafia, La M.A., they got some good news, which is why many of the media outlet have not spoken on it, which is why I am bringing this to the light. 
that on May 7, 2019, for the first time in history, the United States government lost a major Mexican Mafia conspiracy trial, a historic victory in United States versus Landa. The government alleged Jose Landa Rodriguez, an alleged Mexican Mafia leader, was the lead conspirator in the plan to unite the Mexican Mafia with the La Familia drug cartel. After seven weeks of testimony and the playing of some 40 hours of video and audio evidence, the jury returned a string of not guilty verdicts, starting with Jose Lander Rodriguez. This federal case victory is unprecedented and a big win for the Mexican Mafia, who will never be stopped no matter what the feds and the government try to do.